Wyckoff methodology, we will zoom in into Wyckoff accumulation structure. Accumulation is the process by which large operator absorb available stock from the market. This is a transfer from retail tr trader or weak hand to strong hand or strong hands. Great resistant level for accumulation or reaccumulation structure. It is uh, established by the maximum current generated by the automatic rally and by the maximum that can be developed during phase B. Boss brick of structure. Brick of structure is indicated the en environment in which the price will move soon. The first bosch is established in phase A where the price move from a downward trend to a consolidation environment. The second bosch is set from the minimum of phase C to the maximum of sign of weakness in which the price move from a consolidation environment to an upward trend environment. Okay, now we look into phase A. Phase A is stopping the previous barrier trade. That means the trade is on the downside and this after phase A, price is start to moving sideways. The indicator of this phase A is PS. It is a preliminary support. It is the first attempt to stop the downward movement that will always fail. Second is the selling climax. Selling climax action that stop the downward movement. Then come the AR is the automatic rally. Police reaction and upward movement that set the maximum range. This will develop our trading zone. TS is its secondary test. Test of the level of supply in relationship to climax action. Establish the end of phase A and the beginning of phase B. ST will also develop the lower trade line to form the trade zone. Phase A is a, a structure that will be start the movement from the price from downward and the beginning of sideways market. Now we come to phase B, constructions of the course. It start with a UA. This is a uptrust action, temporary break out of a resistance and re-enter into the range. This is a test at the maximum generated by the AR. Following by ST as sign of strength. Secondary test of sign of weakness. Sample of weakness in test function. Temporary break off the support and re-enter to the range. This is a test at the minimum generated by the SC. In phase B, most of the time price is on a sideway whereby heat resistance will drop and will be rebound on the support zone. After the phase B, straight you will go into phase C, whereby phase C is the test before the bull run. In phase C, SP spring it is a test in the form of breakup of the minimum of phase A and B. There are three different types of spring. Number one is test spring, downward mo movement toward low of the range in order to check the commitment of the selling seller. P P LPS is the last point of support. Test in the form of a barrier movement that fell to reach the minimum range. Then followed by TSO, terminal shakeup or shakeup. 
abrupt movement of minimum breakout that produce a deep penetration of the level of support and a fast recovery. Usually, this is the last shakeup before a major bullish trend is come. Then after phase C will come a phase D bullish trade within the range. Sign of strength bullish movement generate after the phase C. Test even that manage to reach the top of the range. Also we call it jump across the grid. This is also we will call it break the resistance. Once it break the resistance with high volume there is a ch uh, chances or likely the trade will be continue to move up further. Before the, the phase C to phase D, L it will be also have a last point of support. There are the rising tote that we find in the upward movement toward resistance. Another, the last of a phase D, what will happen is the breakout. This is the last big reaction before the bull market start. So also called a break structure. Break out to the edge of the creek, back to the creek. This one will be breaking up the resistance and pull back to the resistance line will become a support line. Phase E is the last phase, bullish trade out of range successful of sign of strength and last point of support generating a dynamic of rising high and low. After in this phase E, stock will be moving up and need to be followed on a pullback theory whereby 20 moving average and 40 moving average will be uh, moving up like a uh, a uh, uh, trade radar that means a uh, 20 moving average must be bigger than 40 moving average okay after the theory let's we see some of the example okay now we are uh, look into uh, the example of Wyckoff structure okay so what you can see here is an example of a Samchi uh, holding Brahat. You can see here before the big rally up, you can see a lot of uh, structure has been uh, going up and come the big pullback and have a small wash before it's going up more further. Okay, so now I, I will show you how you write uh, uh, draw out the um, trade zone. Okay, so it will before the big jump, here actually we will base on the left side of the chart to do a um, trade line analysis before we predict the move. Okay, let's say example, this one will put a resistor, uh can be a, a support at this line. Okay, this line is because you have a SP here and the price has been rebound. Okay, so this is a first uh, uh, support and once the price drop down, it will become a resistance. Okay, so another one we use is the uh, when the chart ready to move out. When the chart is ready to move out, is at here will help us to develop a uh, support. But however, because of the LC bar is breaking up these structures, then we will be using uh, this SP as our support line. Okay, so now you already develop a train on upper upper level uh, the trade line and lower trade line okay so from here i will use the the lower trade line i will make it a color of uh, um, uh, we use it here okay you can see the pro the price has dipped below and rebound back before his move up further so any price at this zone will be our target to go long that means we are buy to make it up okay so wherever is drop below we will cut loss but however if the price has been recovered back here 
fast then we will re-enter again because this is become the uh, phase C on a Wyckoff structure okay now we will look into uh, another example of a pen tag okay you can see here the entire pen tag also have a semi similar um, structure like the Mike uh, Wycroft um, accumulation uh, structure okay now I will show you how to draw up the trading zone okay so this is uh, and because of a lot uh, from the left side you see a lot of uh, uh, price has been congested at here so uh, automatically this one will immediately become the support line and we have a few uh, up trust. Up trust is the sign of weakness. The price will be retreat. Okay, so we will take it. The immediate one at here will become our resistance line. Okay, so once you have developed this trading zone, any zone at here you will go for long. That means we are going up to uh, buy up. Okay, so you may enter at this zone anyway to uh, benefit to see whether it can be uh, uh, moving up or not. Okay, but however, anything drop below this line, uh, the support line will end up uh, price to be cut because we did not know the price may go down more further or not. Okay, but however, a lot of time if this follow Wyckoff structure this one also exactly in phase c okay so a small dip before everything is going up again this is the smart money last to test the market before it's really up that's why when you are looking at the chart make sure you have can be cash all this uh wash that's the best place that we can go in okay Okay, here will be another example power route. Okay, this power route also say share the same pattern like Wyckoff accumulation. Okay, from here we will draw out the support line and resistance line. This one immediately we can uh it's very obvious both of this line will become a support and resistance. Okay, and automatically this one will become your trade zone any price at here will be uh, result in uh, long this mean entrance for going uh, up for the stock and you can see here at the end of the day also have one phase C in uh, Wyckoff accumulation uh, pattern okay that's why if you can catch all this uh, uh, this this structure not always come out in the stock but if you see one, that will be a best to enter and let the profit run. Once it's run, it will take uh, uh, almost a 20% or more than that. Okay, this is another example of a Wyckoff um, accumulation structure. The important thing is to develop the accumulate uh, the trade zone. Okay, now we look into another example is micro steel micro steel also the same thing that they have developed it a phase c at this structure what you can uh, now we are drawing the uh, our trade zone the trade zone is always we are based on the left side of the chart to predict the right chart right side of the chart so we will immediately we are using the uh, up trust and you have a uh, if you see this volume actually is uh, without this big volume actually before this big volume happened this volume has been considered quite big okay so that's why we will take it as a uh, reference point and use second bar down bar close price become our resistance wherever when you have see the price has been supported and did not drop for a few time Okay, this one automatically it will become our support line. Once you have the upper and uh, resistance and support line, then you develop a trade zone. Between the trade zone is a zone that you can en uh, uh, enter to for long position. That means it's for the price to go up. 
okay any break between this support will be end up a cut loss however a lot of time uh, some if the chart is really forming like a Wyckoff structure it will have a small watch once you have a small watch then is the time for the chart to rally okay so this is a one of the example okay this one is the latest uh, uh, price that I can see uh, is like the beginning of a moving up of the Wyckoff structure this is IGB rigs what you can see here now we are drawing the trading zone okay so from the uh, very obvious from the left side of the chart here you have a high volume then we will automatically take the second close bar price become our support okay then after that we will look for any up trust in this area to help us to develop the hard uh, the resistance so from here we can see we're giving a priority to stock that have a high volume up trust once you have a up trust here and you have a price second bar price is closed at this area then automatically this one will become our resistance okay so between this price is with your uh, trade zone and this is trade zone that you might be going for long position that means uh, buy uh, enter to have a uh, for the price to go up okay so and here also happen a high volume and it's happened at the phase C of the Mycroft structure so I uh, immediately this one give a really good indicator the accumulation at this stage is already over and is going to blast out anytime okay this is the latest chart that I found have a very good uh, showing that this uh, Wycroft structure if you learn something new and found value give us a like to share support and subscribe to our channel and hit a bell icon to stay in touch with a new upload until next time I'm Fu Busa Trying sign up thanks